According to the National Institute for Literacy, educators believe that parents can teach their children to read at home. Whether this is due to the stronger chemistry that kids naturally have with their parents, or due to the fact that parents have a special kind of learning environment to offer their children, there's no doubt that teaching children to read at home is quite possible and very realistic. According to Christine Kim, parental involvement emerges as another robust influence on educational outcomes. Teaching a child to read at home involves several things. You need to understand the different ways in which children can learn. You also need to understand how to create a, uh, a learning schedule, as well as ensure that your child practices every single day. Most of you have children. Whether your children are young enough to be taught to read or not, their children, or future children, um, will one day need to learn literacy. Working with young children as a tutor at an elementary school has really taught me to think about the different ways in which children can learn. Today, I will tell you all how to teach children to read at home. Like I said earlier, you need to understand the way your child thinks, as well as know how to create a learning uh, schedule, as well as a practice schedule. First, let's discuss why understanding the way in which your child thinks is important. Understanding the way your child thinks requires evaluating that child's actions and turning that knowledge into an evaluation of what's going on inside your child's mind. Now, you need to watch the way your child reacts to different situations, as well as really pay close attention to your child whenever he or she, he or she is talking to you. Paying really close attention in these situations can provide valuable insight on what's going on, on inside your little one's mind. Once you better understand what's going on inside your child's mind, it's time to create a learning schedule. Now, a learning schedule is a schedule of the days and times at which your child will be learning with you. As you can see here, I've created an example of a learning schedule. I've listed Monday through Sunday with different times on each day. For example, Monday I listed 3 to 4, and Tuesday 4 to 5, and so on. Now, there are several things to keep in mind when you're creating a learning schedule. You need to make sure to plan it around your work schedule. And if your child is in school, be sure to plan it around your child's school schedule. Also, plan for a certain time frame, like I did with the different days. For example, from 3 to 4, or from 4 to 5. Don't just, you know, say an hour on Monday and an hour on Tuesday. Plan a certain time. Also, plan a learning session, session for every single day. If your child practices something every day, they will be much more likely to retain the information. According to Jenny from ICanTeachMyChild.com, it is important to read to your child. This means that some of the learning sessions might be as simple as reading a book to your child and allowing that child to read over your shoulder. Once you have devised a good learning schedule, create a practice schedule with your child. A practice schedule is very similar to a learning schedule except it's, it sets aside time for that child to practice by him or herself instead of practicing with you. Now, um, practicing can mean for your child to read anything from a book to a magazine, just pretty much anything that your child um, can read and you feel is appropriate for your child to read. There are also several things to keep in mind when, uh, when planning a practice schedule for your child. Play, uh, Plan the practice schedule with your child, not for your child. Keep in mind your child's needs and wants, because if you don't, your child is going to be much less interested than, you, than they would if you planned it in, with their wants and needs in mind. Excuse me. Plan it for a time period that's after the daily learning session. In this way, you'll be able to uh, get your child to practice what he or she learned in that day's learning session. Also, plan a practice session for every single day. As with the learning schedules, you'll want your child to practice every single day for the same reason. Also, keep in mind that your child needs to practice alone. If he or she is not practicing alone, then it's really just you teaching them and they might not be understanding the information like they would if they were alone and had time to really think about the different concepts. Do not overwork your child. This is a big one. Remember that you've already scheduled a learning session for every single day, so try not to add too much onto your child. For example, instead of adding another hour on for a practice session, 
try adding 30 minutes or 45 minutes. You know, try not to overwork your child because this can lead to exhaustion and your child's just going to lose interest. So today you learned about how to figure out how your child thinks, as well as how to devise a learning schedule and how to create a practice schedule for your child's reading. Collectively, you have learned how to teach your child to read at home. As previously stated, the National Institute for Literacy says that educators really do believe that parents can teach their children to read at home. Now, you know how to do so. Thank you.